You should really bring the Knights of Favonius with you next time. It's shocking how much work there is to do, even for the three of us. And she's been handling it alone all along. The Chising secretary clearly isn't an ordinary person. It's so frustrating. Huh. You're just... Aren't you Ningguang's servants? How come you're here? <clears throat> we are Miss Ningguang's private secretaries, not servants. <sighs> Have you seen this Ganyu traveler? It has been several days since Ganyu left for Joyun Karst. She's the general secretary of the Liyue Chisi. We've only taken over her responsibilities until she gets back. Ah, oh, even though the Chisi have made peace with the Adepti after the latter had denounced Liyue, they still want to pay their respects to the Illuminated Ones. They commissioned Ganyu as their envoy to deliver a letter to Joyun Karst and bring the Adepti the latest news about the crisis. Still, Ganyu should have been back to her usual responsibilities by now, but she's disappeared without a trace. Is that so? Maybe Ganyu just took a little detour. Who can blame her after working so hard? I'm afraid it's not very likely. Ever since we met Ms. Ganyu, she's been nothing but the most conscientious person in all of Liyue. Even when it's time for her annual leave, Ms. Ganyu stays on duty at Yuahai Pavilion saying, There is still so much to do. She couldn't possibly be using her mission as an excuse to slack off. Oh, Paimon sees how it is. But she's half adeptus. She wouldn't get in trouble, right? Why do you look so upset? <sighs> it's because of this absurd workload of hers. <sighs> When we first heard the three of us would be taking over for Miss Ganyu, we thought it would simply be a matter of changing our work environment. <sighs> we couldn't have imagined that Miss Ganyu's daily workload far exceeds what the three of us are used to doing. Speaking of Juyun Karst, Traveler, I've heard that you can go in and out of there as you please. Of course! We've been there lots of times! Ah, oh, that's good news. Could you go to Juyan Karst and find Miss Ganyu for us? Preferably before we collapse under this workload. Ah, oh. oh, we're saved. I remember Miss Ganyu said that she'd be visiting Cloud Retainer's abode. You might as well start looking for her there. It's about time she came back to work. Otherwise... Oh. No, perhaps we should go to Lady Ningguang first and bring up our overtime pay again. So Ganyu left to visit Cloud Retainer. Doesn't she live in Mount Aozong? We should hurry up. Paimon hopes we can find her there.
I did not expect to meet you here. Is it official or private affairs that bring you here? Oh, I shouldn't. I have left the human world. Please contact the Yua High Pavilion regarding matters concerning the commercial port. Huh? You don't want to be the Chising secretary anymore? But they're all waiting for you to come back! That's why you're here? You want me to come back? I'm afraid you came here in vain. What? Did something happen? The clouds fold and unfold. The tide ebbs and flows. It was meant to be. When the Adepti entrusted humans with overseeing Leo, I knew it was only a matter of time until I had to leave. My Adepti blood makes me unwelcome in Leoa Harbor. <sighs> I delivered the letter and came back to Leoa Harbor, only to discover that I had been replaced by Baiwen, Bai Shao, and Bai Shu. Perhaps that mission of mine was just a pretext to remove me. Since the Qi Sing gave me a chance to leave with dignity, I decided to be tactful as well. I appreciate your kindness, but there's no need for your words of comfort. After a thousand years away, I came back to Juyun Karst. Looking at the clouds floating among the mountains brings me peace of mind. I feel better now. Uh, but... Who disturbs the peace of these mountains? Cloud Retainer? We're terribly sorry, we just... <laughs> One merely jests. One felt your presence the moment you set foot upon this land. Wow! You adept I really are impressive! Come here to chat about the old times with Ganyu. It looks like you get along quite well. <sighs> ah, a matter leaves you at an impasse then. Not to worry. One is exceptional at seeking avenues for conversation. One has been one's own companion in idle talk for many a year. Ah, yes. Since you are Ganyu's friends, tales from her youth shall one apprise you of, perhaps? Oh, Cloud Retainer. <sighs> Nothing to be ashamed of. You were so cute as a child. One is most certain that your friends would like to hear of it. Oh, Paimon wants to hear it! Uh... <laughs> Little Gone you loved when the horns on the top of her head were caressed. When one was still taking care of her, one was pestered most often to touch her horns. She was elsewise loath to sleep. Wow! Plump she was back then. Why, when she stumbled while we ascended the mountain, she would roll down to the bottom like a little ball. <laughs> the day Ganyu bumped into a pilgrim was the first time she saw a real human in the flesh. So fearful she was that she hid in a rock's cleft for two days and nights. One found her wailing of a monster she had seen. <laughs> Cloud retainer? Uh, forget it. It's about time for my training. I will take my leave. Ah, one's intention was merely to relieve the awkward tension. And you did the exact opposite. Impressive! Be that so? Huh. But returning to Ganyu, most gladdened one is of your arrival. One cannot help but feel that remaining in Jueyun Karst shall not be good for her. One will tell you more about her, if you should permit it. Most benevolent among all Adepti are the Chilin. They drink only spring water and eat only whole grain. But perhaps the mountainous dwellings of Adepti in Joyung Karst might be too lonely for her human side. Under moonlight did one see her last. She stood by the precipice's edge, and upon the mist-veiled mountains she gazed. Her thin figure was immersed in the vast sea of clouds. One noticed her loneliness, and sought to convince her to go back to the human world. But... 
Just then, she said thus. Leoa Harbor feels even lonelier than Juyun Karst. When I look at the sea of clouds in Juyun Karst, I merely feel the loneliness of a solitary cloud gazer. When I step into the sea of people in Leoa, I feel the loneliness of an inhuman that doesn't belong in the human world. One did, by chance, hear this much of Ganyu's thoughts. Alone, she will find her predicament hard to conquer. One hopes that you will accompany her. Oh, Retainer's right. We can't leave Ganyu depressed like that. Besides, Liyue hasn't given up on her. She's got it all wrong. Anyways, what's that training Ganyu was talking about? She has sought to reclaim her adeptus side since returning to Zhuoyun Karst. At her behest, one has organized training for her to achieve that end. She should be in the southern part of Mount Aozong right now, preparing for the trial. Huh, is that so? Let's go take a look then! Why did you come here? Ah, uh, I... Uh, humans should not remain in the realm of Adepti for too long. Hmm. Considering the kindness you have shown me, I can let you stay for the Adeptus training. Yay! This trial was prepared by Cloud Retainer. Its goal is to help me feel like an Adeptus again. The training is much to her signature style. I hope it won't make it seem like she is too unaware of the abilities of others. Is it difficult? No, I'm aware of your strength, Traveler. The power hidden within you is not inferior to mine. If you're ready, we shall begin the training. See through the eyes of an Adeptus, you wouldn't be so surprised.
We've completed the task. What do you think? Hardships are a fact of life, both for the Adepti and humans alike. Ganyu, what were you planning to do once your training was over? The training's not over yet. The part prepared by Cloud Retainer is only the first trial. Huh? So there are more trials prepared by other Adepti? No. The only Adeptus who can unlock my true potential is... Who is it? Conqueror of Demons. Huh. So it's Shell. That cold-hearted loner? How come he's prepared a trial for you? I found him unapproachable at first, too. But I believe that being able to face him is an important part of my homecoming. He's already waiting for me. Come along if you're interested. Of course we are! Let's go! You're half an hour late. I see you still haven't abandoned the wrongful ways of humankind. I'm sorry. I had a meeting with Cloud Retainer. I... I don't need your explanations and don't require any mutual understanding between us. I'm just helping you with your training. That's all. Xiao is such a strict teacher. You're neither an Adeptus nor a human, always treading the line between the two worlds. It must create a lot of confusion. Instead of explaining yourself to me, you should face your true self. I... I have nothing to hide. The body and the mind are one. If something worries your mind, your body can help you find a solution. The trial I've prepared for you will explore the true potential of your body. Yes. I'm ready. The trial's begun! I know you can feel it in the air. Even the water's changed!
we're waiting. Next on the agenda. Next on. No touching. I've completed your trial. You don't have to report back to me. Seeking other people's validation won't benefit your training. Only you can evaluate the result of this trial. You'll progress faster that way. Um, understood. Xiao always has such strong opinions. From tomorrow on, I'll start raising the difficulty of your training, so you'll have to... <sighs> Have to do what? Uh, another one of those pesky visitors. I'll leave him to you, Ganyu. It's also a part of your training. Pesky visitor? So even here there are those that Xiao can't deal with? Oh, oh heavens! Blessed be Rex Lapis! I've finally come upon the Adepti! Are all of you the Adepti of this mountain? Uh, great! My name's Sin Chung. I came to ask for your merciful blessings, O oh Adepti. I beg of you, please grant me luck, wealth, and a good career. Oh, so it's a pilgrim! Huh. He can handle any battle, but talking to strange humans is a different story, huh? I... am also one of the Adepti. You can say that I'm an Adeptus in training. Perfect! I didn't come in vain, then. Although you sound a bit half-hearted, that uh, doesn't matter. What blessings can you grant me? Wow, straight to the point, huh? Dear Pilgrim, you shouldn't jump to conclusions. Adepti don't help every Pilgrim for free. For free? Do you mean that you charge people for the blessings of the Adepti? Ah, uh, that's not what I meant. What I'm trying to say is that everything should be earned through hard work and earnest living. It would be unfair to other people if you got everything you wanted for no reason. Hold on, hold on. I've heard this all before. You're just like my old man, always nagging me. Your father must have experienced it firsthand. The lives of the common folk are riddled with hardships, but are also full of joy. A person of your age should focus on work and family instead of chasing after fairy tales. Are you a real Adeptus? Why do you speak and behave like us city folk? You sure you're not one of those swindlers who poses an Adeptus to cheat people out of their money? Ugh, how dare you reprove me? I bet you came here looking for the Adepti yourself. Mm, he might sort of have a point. We did come here looking for Ganyu after all. Ugh, enough! Doesn't matter if you're a real Adeptus or not, you're useless. I'm leaving. <sighs> Nobody's stopping you. Uh... Ganyu, don't let that guy ruin your mood. Uh... It's not his behavior. The things he said... He was right. I thought that coming back to Juyun Karst and devoting myself to training would make me feel like an Adeptus again. But being questioned by him made me realize that I... <sighs> but... I'm unwelcome in Liyue Harbor. As an Adeptus, I... It's 
true! Just believe us! Uh, all right. I'll go with you to Leoa Harbor. That said, I still trust my initial judgment. If I'm proven right, I'll return to Juyun Karst once again. It's a step in the right direction! Let's go! <laughs> you have a point. It would be quite impolite of me to leave the two of you now. That's right! Where do you want to go first, then? I've spent too much time in the mountains. The first thing that comes to my mind is the sea. Let's go for a walk in the port. Happy to come with. The sound of the waves in this familiar port. The smell of the sea breeze makes me nostalgic. Ganyu, you didn't leave Liyue for that long. Why do you look so moved? Well, I used to be so busy. I haven't taken a stroll around here in a long time. Huh, that's true. Ganyu seemed to be working all the time. Well, when I think about my time here, I've spent most of it behind a desk filing documents. It put me in a certain mood. Similar to the one I felt during my training in Juyun Karst, in fact. Why, isn't it... Little Miss Ganyu? <laughs> I wouldn't have thought I'd meet you here. You were always so terribly busy. Th this old man called her Little Miss Ganyu. Please don't also start calling me that. <clears throat> Allow me to introduce Uncle Tian. He is... That's alright. Just tell them the truth. They have done so much for Liu after all, and I am the one who has yet to introduce myself. Uncle Tian is a member of the Liu Chising, the Tianshu. What? His grandpa is a member of the Chising? The same rank as Ningguan? Hush now. I must ask for your discretion concerning my identity. Fishing in the port and strolling about are the greatest pleasures of my life. I have no wish to be followed around by those armed guards. In most people's eyes, I'm just a forgetful and wordy old man. <laughs> hmm. Uncle Tian is too modest. He's been around for a long time. There's no one who can replace a person of such noble character. <laughs> oh, little Miss Ganyu. Your kind words make me feel that my decades of hard work haven't been in vain. Uncle Tian, a person of your standing should really stop calling me little Miss Ganyu. Oh, my apologies. It's not intentional, just a childhood habit of mine. Thank you for looking after me when I first ascended to my position in the Chi Sing. Friends for many decades now, huh? Oh, I was just fulfilling my duties as the Chi Sing secretary. It's nothing worthy of your gratitude. 
talking about secretaries. Oh, I don't know if I should bring it up. Uh, Ganyu, I believe you know my daughter, Huisin. She seems to be a bit troubled recently. Yes, she works at Yua High Pavilion, and she's my junior. How can I help her? <laughs> I don't know myself, really. Uh, she's all grown up now and doesn't like to ask for my help. May I trouble you to meet her at UAI Pavilion? She just needs a bit of guidance. With pleasure. Solving the Chi Sing's problems has always been in my job description. She's back in character, just like that, huh? Let's move them to UAI Pavilion! Gone you. It's been too long. I don't know why, but seeing you brings me a sense of peace in these chaotic times. Indeed, it has been a while, Huixin. I'm flattered, but aren't you exaggerating a little? I heard that you've encountered some problems and came to see if I could be of some help. <sighs> My father asked you to come, didn't he? Abusing his status as a member of the Chi Sing to trouble you. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm always happy to help a junior colleague from Yua High Pavilion. Ganyu's not only a competent secretary, but also a great mentor. So, what can you tell me about the problem? Ugh, where should I start? I discovered something strange while organizing tax records. There are obvious irregularities in the tax declarations of two stores, Second Life and Wanyo Boutique. However, whether I question the shopkeepers or check their accounts, I, I can't seem to make any progress with my investigation. Without any evidence, my hands are tied. I see. It's not uncommon for merchants to be blinded by greed. Well, is there any solution you can advise? Naturally. I've dealt with similar issues hundreds of times. Give me a moment to consider the best approach in this scenario. All right. Uh, let's approach it this way, then. Your enemy knows you best. Huh? If I remember correctly, Second Life and Wanyo Boutique are old business rivals, competing for market share due to their similar wares. Hmm. In that case... In that case... Ah! I know what you mean, Miss Ganyu. Exactly. Let's start with Wanyo Boutique. The owner's name is... Bolai, isn't it? Uh, yes, you're right. Follow me, please. Aha! We meet again, Traveler. And you must be... from the Yuhai Pavilion? <laughs> I suppose you're about to place a big order. I'd be honored to offer you my wares. That won't be necessary, Mr. Bolai. Wanyo Boutique's credit is not sufficient to accept orders directly from Yuhai Pavilion. Should we need to place such an order, we would certainly go to Second Life instead. What? Second Life? Ugh. That rascal Dongsheng, he's stealing all of my customers. Well, Second Life's credit has always been excellent, 
and based on their tax records, their business is thriving. Ha <laughs> ha Hmm. Tax records? Ah, <laughs> thriving? Huh. Is there anything you'd like to share with us, Mr. Bolai? Don't let that rascal fool you. I know his dirty tricks best. If you don't believe me, show me his tax records. I'm sure I'll find something fishy in there. You know Second Life's business so well? Of course! Ugh, their every transaction makes my blood boil. I'd rather lose money myself than see that rascal make some. Well then, please look over this tax record. We'll review Second Life's credit based on your observations. Oh, of course! I'll read very, very carefully. Line by line and word by word. Ah, here I found it! That exquisite wooden furniture set he bought from Fanmu Carpenters at the beginning of the year. Ugh, he even flaunted it in front of me. Look at the tax record. Not a word about that furniture. And he kept all the profit for himself. I see. He must have gotten rid of all the documents related to this transaction. No wonder there was no trace of it. Hmm, <laughs> I told you so. Just as I expected. Ugh, I can't wait to watch him squirm. But, Ms. Ganyu, despite all this, can't he just flat out deny ever making this transaction? He might have destroyed all the evidence, but I believe the supplier, Fanmu Carpenters, might still have some proof of it. Aha, uh -huh, you're right! Master Lu from Fanmu Carpenters must still have the invoice. He wouldn't be swayed by the likes of Dongsheng. I hope so. Let's go to Fanmu Carpenters. It should be near Chingsa Village. Thank you for shining a light on this case, Mr. Balai. Oh, please, please, that's nothing. I just hope you won't be lenient with him once you find the evidence. That's the best way to show your gratitude. <sighs> I'm afraid I can't go to Chingsa Village. It's all right, Weixin. You can stay in Liyue Harbor and finish your work. Leave the rest to us. Ah, oh, that's so considerate of you. Still, I'm sorry to trouble you like that. Welcome, welcome. How can an old carpenter like me help you? <laughs> I'm usually happy to take new apprentices, but uh, I'm afraid I can't take too many at once. Uh, but I'm always around if you're keen for a chat. <laughs> Chingsa really is full of lonely old people. Hey, I heard that, flying one. Uh, Paimon, sorry. Master Lu, we've just come to see you and ask you some questions. <laughs> ah, don't worry, I know. You're from the Yuhai Pavilion, right? Why would the Chi-Sing care about an old man like me? Well, whatever. You said that you want to ask me something. Ask away, then. <laughs> You're very direct, Master Liu. I will be plain. We're looking for proof that Dongsheng from Second Life has been evading taxation. Dongsheng bought some furniture from you at the beginning of the year. Do you still have the invoice or any other record of that transaction? Oh, it's about Second Life. It was a big order. Hmm. How could I forget? Sure enough, Mr. Balai was right. Could we perhaps borrow that invoice? We won't have any evidence to bring against Dongsheng otherwise. Well, of course you can. But I'm not so sprightly anymore. Uh, what's that supposed to mean? Uh, 
I only do my woodwork and display finished wares here, at Fonmu Carpenters. As for old documents and such, I keep them all in a warehouse west of here. But some troublemakers have recently moved there, invading my warehouse. I tried to drive them away, but they just wouldn't leave. Since you need that invoice anyway, it may be best to get it from the warehouse yourself. And while you're at it, you can teach those louts a lesson. So that's what happened. I see. I'll leave you to it then. I need to get back to work. Take back the warehouse, find the invoice. Time for us to show our stuff in a fight. Wait, I think I saw one of those troublemakers. Ah, over there. Oh, Paimon sees them too. <gasps> it's one of the Fatui. They must be plotting something against Liyua Harbor. Maybe they're the scoundrels who invaded Master Lu's warehouse. Ever since Osile attacked the harbor, the Fatui's reputation in Liyua has reached rock bottom. We won't cause a serious diplomatic crisis by getting into some small scuffle with the Fatui within our borders. You need not worry. Besides, I can already feel their malicious intentions. Consider it... My intuition as the secretary of the Chising. And what are we waiting for? Let's go teach him a lesson. Frozen. You can bully me? Chris, Think you can get away? Oh, you scoundrels! I think you've had enough. About time you tell us your plan. No? Plan? What plan? We just taught you a lesson, but clearly you weren't paying attention. If you don't spill whatever you're scheming against Liyue, we'll be forced to use harsher methods. I'm telling the truth. There's no scheme. If you're telling the truth, then why would you, a member of the Fatui, suddenly appear on the outskirts of Chingsa village? Fine. If you really want to know, then, well, I was about to. About to... what? Big berries over there. Um... I must admit, I didn't expect you to come up with such a silly excuse. It's not an excuse. I rarely have a free morning, and I heard that there were fresh berries in this area. Think about it. I'm here alone, and Chinksa Village is nothing more than a retirement spot for old people. What could I be scheming anyway? Judging by how he's looking at us, it does seem like he feels like he's the victim here. So you have nothing to do with the occupation of Fonmu Carpenter's warehouse? Fonmu Carpenter's warehouse? Where's that? I swear, I only came here to pick berries, that's all. So it wasn't the Fatui who took over Master Lu's warehouse after all. I also feel that he's telling the truth. I misjudged the situation and offended you. My apologies. Our... Uh, our exchange only represents my personal views. If you wish it so, you can file a complaint to the Ministry of Civil Affairs. Exchange? This woman... She's clearly aware that the Ministry of Civil Affairs wouldn't side with us for Tui. Yes, precisely. As an alternative, you may... Try to solve this problem with force once again. Paimon's in! <laughs> Darn you. How can you wear that solemn face while bullying me like this? What's your choice, then? I'll get back to my berries. What a bittersweet ending. I made a laughing stock out of myself. I might have spent too much time away from work. 
my intuition is not as accurate as it used to be. No worries. It's always nice to teach the Fatui a lesson. <laughs> Let's keep moving towards Master Lu's warehouse. Our goal is to get the invoice, after all. Ms. Ganyu, you're back. I hope it wasn't too much trouble rushing about like that. I promise to help you and I'll keep my word. Nothing to worry about. Look, it's the invoice for the transaction between Second Life and Fanmu Carpenters. We've brought it back. Oh, thank you so much. Now we can solve this problem. Agreed. How about we go to Second Life and... have a nice chat with the owner. Guess we can rest a bit. Isn't it... Huixin, from the Yuhai Pavilion. 
I remember you. I told you that all of my transactions are included in the records. My tax declarations are scrupulous as well. I do hope that my business won't be affected by any groundless accusations. Groundless accusations? Mr. Dongsheng, you seem very sure of yourself. But I sincerely advise that you cease this behavior immediately. It is liable to affect the fine you'll need to pay in the end. Uh, no. No. I'm an honest merchant. I would never get involved with any fraudulent sources of profit. Haven't I made myself clear? Mr. Dongsheng, you've already been proven guilty of tax evasion. I just came here to see if you'd confess. What? P proven guilty? H how come? That's impossible. Absolutely absurd. He's talking without rhyme or reason. Must be crumbling under Ganyu's pressure. Time for the finishing blow! Mr. Dongsheng, can you tell me what this is? I... it... It's an invoice from Fan Mu Carpenters. I... I'm... Master Lu, he... I didn't... Do you admit to tax evasion? This transaction was absent from the tax record. <sighs> I didn't think you'd find out. I didn't leave a single trace. Indeed. We wouldn't have found out if it weren't for Mr. Bualai's aid. <sighs> Bualai? That imp from Wanyo Boutique? So he told on me behind my back. Hmm. He's got his own share of dirty laundry. Oh? Mr. Dongsheng, I'd like to hear a little more about this dirty laundry. Would you care to elaborate? I don't think you'll need my guidance for what comes next. Oh, yes, thank you, Ms. Ganyu. I can take it from here. <laughs> That's good. <sighs> I must say, you're truly impressive, Ms. Ganyu. Your enemy knows you best. To think, you came up with this plan and executed it so masterfully. <laughs> it's actually one of your father's, the Tianshu's, old tricks. I just took some inspiration from it. M uh, my father? Hitting your opponent against their enemies and watching them drag each other down from an advantageous position that's how Uncle Tian managed to keep his position in the Qixing secure for so many years. I figured that as Uncle Tian's daughter, you'd naturally grasp your father's strategies. So, I decided to use one of your father's tricks and play it out for you to see. <sighs> I can see it now. Clearly, I still have a lot to learn about my father. I'm really grateful, Ms. Ganyu. <laughs> You're the kindest mentor I've ever had. Thank you. Ganyu solved both Hoishin's work and family problems. Two birds with one stone. Oh, you've helped me so much. You must... You must allow me to repay your kindness. Ah, uh, that's not necessary. No need to be so serious. It was nothing, really. Then let me treat you to a meal. Hm? The Traveler and Paimon are invited as well. I appreciate your help. All right, come on, Ganyu. Just say yes. Let's eat. Oh, come on. It's just a meal. If it's just a meal, there's no reason for me to decline. It'll be my pleasure, Huixin. <laughs> Actually, I've already booked Senor Kiosk. I need a moment to prepare everything first. Let's meet there in a while. Hmm. All right. We dare not refuse such generosity. Miss Ganyu, thank you for accepting my invitation. And as for the two of you, your presence is also much appreciated. 
Sure! That's so kind of you, Huixin. You went to great lengths to organize this. <laughs> Truth be told, apart from thanking you for all the help, there's something I'd like to tell you. Oh? If there's anything I can help you with, just tell me straight away. No need to hesitate. Oh, uh, no, no, I, I don't really need help. Uh, could you just listen for a bit? With pleasure. <laughs> uh, when I was a little girl, my father used to tell me many stories about you, Miss Ganyu. Even though I have the utmost respect for my father, I always admired how gentle and reliable you are. I've only decided to join the Yuhai Pavilion staff because I've always looked up to you. I didn't know that you think so highly of me. However, in reality, working at the Yuhai Pavilion turned out to be an arduous task. I can't compare myself to such an outstanding secretary like you. I often doubt myself as a result. I disagree. You're a great secretary in your own right. <laughs> Thank you. Over the years, I became a mother, too. Huh? So Uncle Tian is a grandpa! <laughs> Influenced by my youthful ideals, she followed my footsteps and came to be a secretary at the Yuhai Pavilion, too. At first, I was worried about her. It's not an easy job, after all. To tell the truth, I'm still unsure if she's capable enough. But after all that happened this time, I've made up my mind to support her choice. So, what made you change your mind? Oh, the fact that she'll have you, Ms. Ganyu, as her senior colleague. You'll help her, gentle as always, and tell her your mom used to do it like that. <laughs> It'd be such a beautiful moment. If it's not too much to ask for, she might still need your guidance in 20 plus years, too. Huishin, I... I never thought that I meant so much to you. <laughs> Just like when you showed me my father's trick. Having you as their witness makes people feel at ease. Witness? It's true that I've witnessed thousands of years of Liyue Harbor's history. All the changes it's gone through. The stories of its people. But I've always regarded it as nothing more than the source of my loneliness. Huishin. You don't know how important those words are to me. You've made me realize that I share another connection with the people of Liyue Harbor. Apart from my contract with Rex Lapis, they rely on me, accept me, and long for me to bear witness to their stories. Oh, of course. You're irreplaceable to us. <laughs> That's right. That's why I can't disappoint you. Even if I've really been supplanted, I wish to fight for my place. I won't let you down. I'm going to fulfill my contract and keep working as the Chi Sing secretary. Regardless, I'll go back and see for myself. I'm afraid that it might have all become a mess during my absence. No time to waste. Let's get back to work. Good luck, Miss Ganyu. Are you okay? Did you fall asleep standing up? Look! Look who's back! You even have enough time for leisure? It seems you three are a suitable replacement for me after all. Not at all! We just... 
We've been working for too long. If we didn't take a break... <sighs> we wouldn't have survived long enough to see you again, Miss Ganyu. Miss Ganyu, we've missed you. <laughs> That's so kind of you all, given we've only met once. We've been praying day and night for you to return and take over your duties again. To us, you're like an adeptus coming down to the human world to save all life. Forget all our envious complaints from before. Just free us from this strenuous work, please. All right. All right, I see. Please divide the matters at hand into government affairs, business affairs, and civil affairs. Mark out the tasks that haven't been started, and those that are in progress. I'll take care of the rest. Of course. We'll do it right away. Oh, finally. <laughs> We're saved. Uh, yes. There's one more thing. I'd like to earnestly thank you, Traveler. If it weren't for your companionship, I would still be embroiled in my inner conflict right now. <laughs> to think that I'd gained a human friend outside of work. It makes me happier than I could have imagined. I'd like to repay you when I'm done with the work at hand. What would you say if I... accompanied you on one of your trips? Sure, but... are you ever done with work on you? Hmm... Uh, let's cross that bridge when we come to it, shall we? <laughs>